today we're going to set up the APC64 with Ableton Live. First, let's make sure we're connected via the USB-C port in the back and also power on with the power switch in the back. Check the documentation that came with your APC64 so that you can get your free downloads that came with your controller, including your download of Ableton Live Lite. Register the APC64 and then you'll have access to the downloads. Once you've got Ableton Live installed, let's go to the settings, link tempo in MIDI, and under control surface, find the APC64, and make sure you set the APC64 DAW as your input and your output. Usually the proper MIDI ports will be checked, but you'll want to make sure that at least track is checked for the APC64 ports. And later we might do some custom mapping. So go ahead and check the remote boxes for the APC ports as well. Also note that now that our APC64 is properly connected to Ableton Live, we will see a box around our grid in Ableton Live's session view. We're going to get into that and all the fun you can have with APC64 and Ableton Live in the next video.